Northern Michigan, welcome to Northern Focus, Dr. Brian Schumacher from McLaren Northern Michigan in Petoskey. Dr. Schumacher is a urologist and wants to remind everybody, uh, we have a lot of male listeners, and during this time of COVID, you may be reluctant to talk to a urologist. Maybe you're using the pandemic as an excuse, but it's an important topic, and we want our men to be safe and healthy. So first of all, welcome to Northern Focus, Dr. Schumacher. Well, thank you very much. Glad to be here. Maybe what are some of the signs of an enlarged prostate, something that they should be considerate about and might be those symptoms that bring them to see you, a urologist, or ask some questions of a urologist? Well, that's a good question. And what typically happens is in most men, as we get older, the prostate starts to grow. And this is benign enlargement. We're not talking about prostate cancer. This is normal benign enlargement. Uh Uh-huh. The prostate is like a little apple. The urine passes run through the core, and as we get older, it begins to compress the urethra. The urine passes. And so what happens, you find your symptoms are a weak scream, dribbly, the scream is intermittent. You find you're getting a lot of urgency to get up at night. Maybe you're getting up a lot and very little comes out. Your scream kind of starts and stops. And overall, you're not voiding like you used to. It's a very slow process. And men always say, well, I think my stream is great. And you have to ask yourself this. If you can write your name in the snow and rock flies off the fence when you go, your stream is good. If it isn't like that, it's not so good anymore. The joys of manhood. Okay, so we'll use something from our childhood as a good uh, yardstick of whether or not they're still in great urological health. So if they're noticing some of these symptoms or kind of an examination of their own present state, that's a good time to contact a urologist. Correct, especially get to be bothersome. And the way you tell, it's really interfering with your lifestyle a little bit. It's time to get... Just check. It's, the workup is very easy. We basically do a physical exam, check the urine, and often we'll start you on medication, which is the first thing we do to see if that helps open the channel up and relieve the symptoms. The smallest change in the caliber of the urethra will really have a significant impact on how well you can urinate. The workup, again, is easy. There are a number of procedures that can be done if that doesn't work or you don't want to be on the medicine. In the old days, you know, rotor rooter or ring job, but we still do them, but very infrequently because there are other minimally invasive procedures that we can do as an outpatient with almost no surgery at all. So is one of those newer treatments the Eurolift? Yes, and the Eurolift is kind of unique because the other procedures that are minimally invasive using steam or high pressure water still are doing the same thing. They're still destroying prostate tissue. Eurolift doesn't do that. Eurolift there's no cutting. And basically you're stitching or stapling the prostate open. You've not cut anything. There's no real surgery. We have typically done it under a little anesthesia, but the procedure takes about 15, 20 minutes. You go home the same day with no catheter. You have some urgency and frequency for a week or two, and then it drops off, and then the stream continues to improve. And patient satisfaction is actually surprisingly high. And that's terrific news because, as you said, there it's not perpetrating any other damage or becoming a precursor to bigger problems down the road. It sounds like a great option. You've described the procedure and kind of the recovery, but as a gal, I can tell you nursing a husband or two, sometimes they're very reluctant to seek treatment and they're worried about what it's going to be like afterwards. Pretty minimal. Is there a lot of follow-up? No, not much. And you know what you say about that is true. We know if it wasn't for the wives and the companions that most men wouldn't come in to see the physician. And most men are alive because they have someone who's concerned enough about them to send them right. in to be seen. Then that's about it. And then they start to get better relatively quickly after the second week. People are very, very satisfied with it as a rule. I think sometimes issues like this that are the result of aging, people are especially reluctant to address because they feel like there's no going back, it's only going to get worse, and I don't want to face what could potentially be coming in the future. But what you've described is something to make quality of life much better and actually prolong a healthy lifestyle. Exactly, and a good quality of lifestyle. is The worst thing that can happen is nothing. The right. worst thing that can happen is you know better than when you started. The vast majority will easily be in that group that will benefit from this. With the old procedures, sometimes you have to have a catheter in for days at a time and avoid heavy lifting or straining for four to six weeks afterwards. Not with this. 
You know, after, you have no restrictions. After the first weekend, you want to go skydiving, you can, from my perspective. I don't right. you know what I'm saying. That's, <laughs> so, the, that's the good part. There's no downside. So if anyone in our Q Nation, guys out there or ladies who have a guy that's frustrated by symptoms right now, how can they get in touch with McLaren Northern Michigan? We want to make sure they can access you, Dr. Schumacher, or um, any other services from McLaren Northern Michigan in Petoskey. Call McLaren Northern Michigan Hospital Petoskey and ask for the Iraq department and we're in the Burns building and at that point you'll be talking to our staff and we will get you in quickly. I don't make people wait for very long. That's one of my cardinal rules. Preliminary step is just an exam and a discussion with you about their current symptoms. Very simple. Very simple and not scary at all. <laughs> no, it's not actually. And, and you know, when people understand what you're doing, people are far more willing to listen to what you want to say and what they're going to do. One of the nice things about urology is that it's very mechanical. It isn't fancy stem cells or enzymes, a tube and a pipe, and that's the way it works. It's, there's nothing that's odd or bizarre. It's very, very straightforward. And you, you, I bet you have a terrific bedside manner because you're making me feel very comfortable about speaking to a urologist, so I appreciate that. Well, I try my best, and I'm always willing to, to go over stuff with people anyhow. Well, I'm going to remind everyone, this has been Dr. Schumacher from McLaren Northern Michigan Department of Urology with some good news for guys out there who may be concerned about their prostate health. If you missed any portion of this interview, go to q100-fm.com. That's the website where you can re-listen to Dr. Schumacher from McLaren Northern Michigan. Dr. Schumacher, thank you so much for joining us. Well, thank you so much.